Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Did you know that there's a builder in every single one of you? This video is a dedication to get more of you comfortable building in Valheim. Now, the first thing to understand as a builder is you're gonna run out of wood all the time. So, you need to get used to getting wood. But in the beginning of the game, you can't really easily chop down trees. All you need is a couple stone axes, and then just go to town on these little trees. You'll get plenty of wood this way, and before you know it, you'll have three or four hundred wood, which is enough to build a small project without fear of running out. So first things first, you're going to need to get a lot of wood. I'm not kidding, you're going to want to build these wooden stacks, and it does something in your mind where you're like, ah yeah, progress, I made one stack. <laughs> And then you go get more trees and come back and you have another stack. And later in the game, there's going to be easier ways for you to deal with this. You're going to be able to get a car and move around a bunch of stuff. But for now, you don't have any of that. This is the beginning, right? So let's be realistic. There we go. We have 300 wood. That's enough wood that you'll be able to build without running out immediately. It's actually not enough for a lot of the really advanced projects later on. You need thousands and thousands of wood and stone and a whole bunch of other resources. So believe it or not, this is nothing. But just for a beginner, it's a really good amount of wood to have on hand. Once you start building, you're gonna find you basically just use up as much wood as you gather. So get in the habit of getting wood. You wanna build these piles. It's a great way to visualize how much wood you have. Whereas if you store the wood in these chests, I mean, how much wood is in those chests? Can you tell? I sure as hell can't, I can't remember. Now let's talk about some building techniques that'll make your friends think you're a really, really good builder, when really you just watch one or two YouTube videos. And just a word to encourage you, do not fuss about all of these people posting awesome, epic, huge castles uh, and photos of their amazing towns that they've spent a hundred days building. Don't worry about that, because the reality is that's not most people. Most people make horrible, horrific looking structures. Really, the Valheim noob house looks characteristic. <laughs> you know what I mean? So don't worry about it. Just build. Don't think you need to be the best because you don't. That's nonsense. This is a game. You're supposed to have fun. And how are you supposed to have fun if when you're building in a game, you're worried about being the best and building the biggest? That's nonsense. Just have fun. Come on. That being said, a great technique is framing. What's framing? Well, to put it simply, you don't just build stuff, all right? What most people do when they start is they'll either start with a wall, like this. They're like, all right, my house is here. That's how this is going. Oh, that was supposed to be a square, but whatever. You know, this is kind of how most people build. They kind of, they get things where they need to be. It works, you know? I mean, I've seen this kind of thing where it's like the monster can't get in if I just jump and then there and then, yeah, I'm safe. We got this perfect house. But as you can see, this looks kind of lame. So something that is good to do is to practice making frames. And all you need to do is just use these wood beam things and you basically make little squares. So here we go, we have one very simple frame, right? But if you made it bigger, let's say like this. Then you can move forward, you know, you could place your floor, etc. And your walls. You see how you can go from the 2D frame to the 3D shape, right? That's a really good habit in building. In general, you want to start by making a 2D sort of shape. You want to frame things up and then fill them up, make them 3D, so to speak. Another great building tip is trimming. Most players will just place the wall, right? But if you trim the wall, you can actually make it look way cooler. And most objects in Valheim don't really look finished until you put some kind of trim in them. And then they just look more purposeful, more whole. There you go. This is just a simple box, but you can see the difference that adding a little bit of trim makes. You can even trim it even more by adding trim in all the corners and here, right? So consider trimming everything. It really does finish items up, and it makes your buildings look more professional. You can trim almost every item in the game, depending on... You just have to use different building objects, depending on the object you're building. 
For example, when you build a roof, you have to use the 26 degree beams like this, or if you use the other roof, you can use the 45 degree beams. But there's always a way to trim what you build, and if you think it looks weird, try throwing some trim on it, and it'll probably make it look much better. Another great thing for a beginning builder is to find and use the existing structures in the game. These structures are essentially going to teach you how to build a house. And if you want to, you can build your workbench, right? Build it inside, ideally, so it gets shelter. And then from there, you can actually repair everything, right? And that'll make it look all nice and shiny new. And then the little areas that are missing, all you have to do is just build in them and fill them up. So this one is missing a certain piece, one of these 45 degree thatch roofs. We just have to repair this roof right here, and that one, and then boom, look at this. Looking pretty nice. It's almost better than the one I made earlier. Lots of people really struggle to get started on anything creative, so these buildings are a really great place to start because they take away a lot of the decisions for you and make it easier, right? You don't have to pick the spot, you just have to explore and find a building and then repair it. And then you're like, well, what if it was a little bit longer? And what if this wall wasn't here and instead it was an entrance to another room? You know, you can add to it. And that's really the key. You don't have to do anything perfectly, but there's a builder in all of you. It's just a matter of nurturing him, giving him a chance to build and have fun. That's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way to play Valheim with your friends, because this way, the server's always on, and anybody can join that you know and have given permission, and then they mess with it, build stuff, and then you log on and get to see what they did. And I love that part of the dedicated server experience. It really makes Valheim just more interesting for me personally than playing in a world that only exists when you're there playing it. I like logging in and there's some chaos, you know, some stuff's missing, something was destroyed, a troll attacked the base, you know, that kind of thing. Life, living a life, right? Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and really, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your time, effort, and attention, and comment below if you know something that I should make a tutorial about. I'd love to hear your idea. I am always looking for more things to make videos about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!